Hey everyone, this is Shanna with Florabella Collection and today I'll be showing you how I edited this photo using the Florabella Color Play Actions for Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Um, here I'll be using Photoshop Elements 11 and there's also a separate video for um, CS2 through CS6. So here is the finished image and I just want to show you what it looked like straight out of the camera before I cropped it. I cropped it to a square and I started with the action Subtle Color. So you just click the little play arrow in PSC 11. Photoshop Elements 11 comes with an actions panel that's much more similar um, to regular Photoshop than the previous versions, which is nice. And okay, so here we have Subtle Color. It loads multiple um, layers that you can tweak or adjust for your image. Um, and likely normally I would, except for I'm going to be adding some add-ons on top. So um, after I do that, then I'll decide if I want to go back down into the main action and, and tweak anything. So that is going to serve as my base. And now um, I want to add an action that's going to give kind of like a wine berry toned, rosy tone to the image. So I'm going to choose a wild heart and I'm just going to run that right on top. Okay, and that's what Wild Heart looks like. And now I'm going to add um, another add-on on top. So before I do anything else, I'm going to click on my very top layer, and then I'm going to add Earth. Now Earth is an action that will add sort of a brownish, mattish look. And I'm going to reduce Earth. I think it's too brown. It desaturates a little bit too much. And I'm going to reduce that to about 45% or so. Again, going to the top layer, I kind of feel like I want to add some peachy haze, so I'm going to add summer peach at a low opacity. And here we have summer peach. I'm going to bring that down to about half as well, 45 or so. And I love uh, the tones and the slight haze and the, and the subtle matte feel of this image, except for for me, her face is a little bit too pale. We need to add some color back. I could get rid of this center fill light within Summer Peach, and I think I will do that. I'm going to go to the top layer, and I'm going to run Blush Brush. Blush Brush is an action that I use on almost every portrait, and also my florals, fruit landscapes. I, I use it on almost every photo that I process. And I'm actually going to run it three times. Um, because when I'm doing cheeks and lips, I like to do them on different layers so I can control the opacity. So I'm going to decrease my brush size, make sure I choose my brush, and I'm painting with white on a black mask so that I can reveal that layer. Right now it's all blocked off with the black, and I'm going to reveal it. My opacity is at 34. I'm going to bring that up to like 80s just so we can see what we're doing. I'm just going to start painting on here just to put some color back in her face. Okay, now if I click on this layer mask here, see how you can see the two white circles? That is where I've revealed that blush layer. I'm gonna click my backslash key, and that will show you where you've painted. And I do this almost every time. I now have black in my foreground. I'm going to reduce the opacity way down to about 20, and I'm just gonna paint on the outside of where I painted just to make it more subtle so the transition is more subtle. Click my backslash key again. Take a little of the blush brush off of there so I can make it really subtle. Here you can see the difference. Just makes her face not so pale and makes it match the rest of the image. Uh, on the next blush brush layer, I'm going to um, increase my opacity again, and I'm just going to add a little bit of blush tone to her lips. Not a lot. I don't want it to appear that she's wearing lipstick, but just to give her lips some color. And since this is an artistic photo, I like to title in that way. And I'm going to reduce the opacity and just bring it up a tiny bit, maybe about 30%. Okay. The only... Oh, here's another blush brush, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add some color, some more blush color to her headband and her hairpiece here. This headpiece, I've received so many questions about it. 
Um, it is custom and it was made from vintage material. So it is an original piece and unfortunately there, you can't get another one. So it's one of a kind. The only other thing I would likely do is just to accentuate her lashes and maybe her brows a little bit. Okay, from here I'm going to flatten. And I'm going to run the definition palette. Um, actually, I'll show you the detail brush and the definition palette. Let me run the detail brush first because I actually prefer the detail brush on lashes. The detail brush is going to really, it's kind of like mascara for lashes. It's going to darken only and make those lashes really pop. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity of that to about 30%. And I'm going to flatten. And now I'm going to use the definition palette. And the definition palette is fun because you can uh, lighten or dodge or highlight by painting with white on the gray layer or you can paint with black to burn, darken, now obviously that is too much but I'm just going to show you. Okay, reduce the opacity just to add a little bit of more drama to her eyebrows. If you need to erase something you do it right here on the layer mask but otherwise you just paint directly on this mask and I'm going to reduce my opacity and I'm just going to sweep over her eyes just a little bit to make them pop just a little bit more and now I can decrease this opacity and just bring it up to about 11. A little goes a long way. So there we have our image. That's what we started with and after color play. The only other thing I might do is go to my classic workflow set and run the noise reduction action. But other than that, I'm done with this image and this set, Color Play, along with all of our other actions and textures can be found at FloribellaCollection.com. Thanks for watching.